Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of angles, specifically how we can find complementary and supplementary angles, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we need to define these two terms, because you're not going to find them on any math chart. So both terms deal with a pair of angles. So let's put that down first. Sometimes you can have multiple angles, more than two, that are going to meet some of the descriptions here. But when we're talking about complementary or supplementary angles, it's just two angles, a pair of angles whose sum, so let's start with the complementary, is 90 degrees. So it's pretty simple. Two angles that equal 90 degrees. And then the supplementary angles, those refer to a pair of angles whose sum is not 90, we've already got that, but 180 double that. One thing I do to keep these two uh, separate is to think that the C and the S are in alphabetical order and the 90 and the 180 are in numeric order. So that's how I keep those two separate. So just think of two angles here like this. If we can say, all right, that's a right angle, then these two angles right here and right here are complementary angles because they add up to 90 degrees. I could do the same thing with this draw straight lines, supplementary angles, and there we go. I've got an angle here, I've got an angle here. They add up to 180 degrees. Those are supplementary angles. And knowing that two angles are complementary and supplementary are very helpful when you're trying to solve for a missing angle value. So we've got an angle here that uh, the large angle is 90 degrees. And we know they're complementary because we've also got the term down there, but we don't really need it because we've got that square that represents 90 degrees. All right, so we need to find the value of x. Well, how can we do that? Well, if we know that these two angles are complementary, we know that they equal 90 degrees. So uh, I'll call this angle 1. I'll call it angle 2. So angle 1 plus angle 2 equals 90 degrees, and I know that because that's the definition of complementary angles. But what is angle 1? Angle 1 is 3x. What is angle 2? I'll put that in parentheses, 7x minus 10. So I can use substitution, and now we can remove those parentheses. They're not really doing anything for us because all of the operations are addition or subtraction. So now if we rewrite it like this, we should start thinking, all right, let's combine like terms. So what do we have? Well, I've got a 3x and a 7x. So 3x's and 7x's equals 10x's. Minus 10 equals 90. Now what I need to do here is I need to add 10 to both sides. And what does that give me? Well, that eliminates that 10. And now I've got 10x equals 100. Okay. So you see where this is going. Now we divide both by 10. And so I can solve for x here. I can say x equals 10. And then if you want to, you can plug that back in, right? So this angle right here is going to be 3 times 10. So that's going to be 30 degrees. And this angle right here is 7 times 10 minus 10. So that's 70 minus 10. And that's 60 degrees. And 60 and 30 make 90. Those are complementary angles. We can do the same thing with supplementary angles. So we'll say this 5x plus 5, that's angle 1, plus that 12x plus 7 squared plus 7, right? So both of those equal together to 180. So we need to simplify these. We don't really need any of the parentheses. Uh, we do have that 7 squared, so that's going to turn into 49. Really, so we've got that 49, and then if we take the parentheses off, like look, we got 12x, we got 5x, so we got 7x, and then we've got that 5, we've got the 7, so let's just combine all the rest of these, right? So now I've got 49 plus 5 is 54, plus 7 is 61, so I've got 7x plus 61 equals 180, subtract 61 from both sides, all right? You're going to get 7x equals 119. And then if we divide by 7, what are we going to get? Well, we are going to get x equals, and then that's going to be 17. 